The historian Theopompus of Chios wrote about a region called Meropus. The description of this region is in Book 8 Philippica, which contains a dialogue between King Midas and Silenus, a friend of Dionysus. Silenus describes the Meropids, a human race that grew to twice the size of an ordinary body, and inhabited two cities on the island of Meropus, Eusbus, the city of Pius, and the city battle of Machimos. Theopompus, noting the same physical characteristics as the ones possessed by Ad, namely giant stature. This is what supports that Atlantis is a descendant of the Ad, so the author in this book writes Atlante with Ad, namely Atlantis. Theopompus, also noting that an armed force of 10 million soldiers crossed the ocean to conquer Hyperborea, Heinz Gunther Nisselrath stated that the story of Silenus is a plagiarism of the story of Atlantis, for reasons of dropping Plato's thinking about Atlantis. Zodocus, a Neoplatonist philosopher in the 3rd century, wrote poetry based on Plato's account of Atlantis. The 4th century historian Ammianus Marcellinus, based in the lost work of Timogenes, 1st century BC historian, wrote that the Druids of Gaul said that some of the inhabitants of Gaul migrated from distant islands in this case to the Atlantic Empire which was characterized by islands. Ammianus' account is regarded by some as a claim that when Atlantis sank, its inhabitants fled to Western Europe, but Ammianus says that some of the population lived and others also migrated from the islands and territories across the Rhine, Race Geste 15.9 proving that immigrants came to Gaul from the north and east, not from the Atlantic Ocean. The Hebrew treatise on astronomical calculations in 1378 79, which is an unknown early pre Islamic literary work, alludes to the mythology of Atlantis in a discussion of determining the zero point of longitude calculations. Francis Bacon's 1627 book, The New Atlantis, New Atlantis, describes a utopian community called Ben Salem located on the west coast of America. The characters in this novel give a history of Atlantis similar to Plato's account. It is unclear whether Bacon referred to North America or South America. Isaac Newton's 1728 book, The Chronology of the Ancient Kingdoms Amended, examines various mythological relationships with Atlantis. In the mid and late 19th century, several Mesoamerican scholars, starting with Charles Etienne Brasser de Borberg, and including Edward Herbert Thompson and Augustus Laplongeon, suggested that Atlantis was related to the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. In 1882, Ignatius L. Donnelly published Atlantis, the Antediluvian World. His work attracted many people to Atlantis. Donnelly takes Plato's account of Atlantis well and states that all known ancient civilizations originated from the Neolithic culture which in this case led to Atlantis. Ignatius L. Donnelly wrote by default that the beginning of this advanced civilization began in the era of Atlantis. In this case the author thinks the same, but there is still a civilization before Atlantis, namely Lemuria and the two advanced civilizations in Sunda land which is currently called Indonesia. During the late 19th century, Atlantis was merged with other, lost continent, stories, such as Mu and Lemuria. Helena Blavatsky, The New Age Movement, writes in The Secret Doctrine, that the Atlanteans were cultural heroes in contrast to Plato's description of them as a warlike nation, thought to be rooted in the fourth, root race, which passed on by the, Aryan race. Whereas the early nations in the archipelago that were detected by historians were those who were referred to by the names. 1. Jawi, not Javanese. 2. Madayu, Mada, Medes, Madian, Midian, Medea. 3. Cambyses. 4. Scythia, Sakas, Kaka Aryan, Aryan race. 5. Manasa. 6. Mala, descendants of the nation or the tribe of Jakan, Iban, Kadazan, Melanau, Bajau. 7. Malai. 8. Mata. 9. Mata U. 10. Mala U, not me wither. The fourth name variant of the nation, Jawi, is a nation called Scythia, Sakas, Kaka, Saka, the Aryan or the ancestral Saka of the Indonesian archipelago which are scattered with inscriptions dating from, Saka, as well as on bas-reliefs of Borobudur with the text of the word, Mahetsukya. The ancient ancestors of the Indonesian archipelago were referred to by the world as Greek Scythes, Scythians, S-C-Y-T, Scythes, Sanskrit, Saka Shaka, Saka, Ancient Persian, Saka, New Persian, Pashto, Latin, Sasi, Chinese, Sai, Sai, Ancient Chinese, Ske, Assyria, Askuzai, Askuz, Herodotus, Skolotoi, Skolotoi. Rudolf Steiner wrote of the cultural evolution of Mu or Atlantis.
Edgar Cayce, who first mentioned Atlantis in 1923, also explained that the location of Atlantis was in the Caribbean, and stated that Atlantis was a very advanced civilization that had ships and warplanes using energy in the form of mysterious energy crystals, and has now sunk. Dr. J. Manson Valentine, is a submerged rock formation that looks like a road to the north of the North Bimini Islands. Found in 1968 and claimed as evidence of the lost civilization of Atlantis and is still being researched. According to Herodotus 430 BC, the Phoenician expedition had sailed around Africa on the orders of the Pharaoh Necho, sailed south of the Red Sea and Indian Ocean and north of the Atlantic, entering the Mediterranean via the Pillars of Hercules. His description in Northwest Africa makes it clear that he located the Pillars of Hercules exactly where the Pillars of Hercules are today. About the Pillars of Hercules that have been placed in the Strait of Sicily according to Eratosthenes, has been quoted in several theories of Atlantis. There are several theories about the location of Atlantis that were proposed in between or around the Mediterranean Sea. Islands such as Sardinia, Crete and Santorini, Sicily, Cyprus and Malta, cities such as Troy, Tartessos, and Tantalus in the Turkish province of Manisa, and Israel Sinai or Canaan. The theory of the Great Thera eruption in the 17th or 16th century BC caused a large tsunami which was thought by experts to destroy the Minoan civilization around the island of Crete which left the story that this disaster might be a disaster that destroyed Atlantis. Other suggestions regarding the location of Atlantis are the areas in the Black Sea, Bosporus and Ancoma, a legendary place near Trabzon. A. G. Galanopoulos states that the time scale has changed due to a mistranslation, possibly an Egyptian-Greek translation error. The perceived error does not support that Atlantis was on the island of Crete, which left a city about the size of the crater of Thera, 900 years before Solon as the 15th century BC. Olaf Rudbeck in Atland, 1672-1702, his hypothesis states that Atlantis was either on a sunken island in northern Europe, including Sweden, or in the North Sea. Several theories have proposed Al-Andalus or Ireland as a location. The Canary Islands were also stated as a possible location, west of the Straits of Gibraltar but close to the Mediterranean Sea. Various islands in the Atlantic were also identified as possible locations, notably the Azores Islands. The sunken Spartal Island in the Strait of Gibraltar has also been proposed.